a very good morning students previous class we will discuss about the new lessons you know <coughs> cell structure and function so the previous class we will discuss about oh, what is cell and who discovered the cell and how organism is formed so everything we will discuss in our previous class so today we will discuss about the next sub topic the number of cells you know already we will discuss the number of cells is different from one organism to another organisms uh, for example like the tall trees and uh, huge animals and small insect also made up of cells you know the number of runs into billions or trillions so the cells is different from the one organism to another organism for example the human being you know we will have the trillions of cells which vary in shape and size even the human beings you know it is a human being is considered that multicellular organisms you know i will explain later so the human being has the trillions of cells and vary in shape and size and different groups of cells to perform a variety of functions you know the different groups of cells to perform the variety of function okay first uh, just remember cell and cell after what will come tissue and tissue after organ and organ system and finally that organisms okay so the different groups of cell perform a variety of functions even like that organisms is made up of a more than one cell that is called that multicellular organisms you know the multi means that many okay va and cellular means cell the some organ not only some organism that organism is made up of more than many cells like the trillion or billion cells okay so that is called that multicellular organism the number of cells being less in smaller organism does not if any way affect the functioning of that organisms so the number of cells is different from one organism to another organisms and the functions also may be different from one organism to another organisms you know so the organisms with billions of cells being life as a single cell which is their fertilized egg you know like we are saying that uh, trillion or billions of cells you know that cells is made up of from a single cell okay what that cells is made up of the single cell then which is the fertilized egg and the karuru adliya fertilized egg so the fertilized egg cells multiplies and the number of cells increase in development proceed okay the fertilized egg for example oru cell renda agum rendu naal agum naal etta agum 8 32 apdi increase aita pogum okay va so that is a multicellular the fertilized egg of cells multiplies and the number of cells increase and development proceeds see the figure you know so it is yet uh, like one is yet amoeba and next one paramecium okay va so this organism is made up of a, a single cell okay va like amoeba and the paramecium so this organism is made up of single cell that is called that unicellular organism okay va the uni means nothing but the single cell okay the such kinds of organisms is made up of the single cell is made up of the single cell that is called what that unicellular organism a single cell organism perform all the necessary function that multiply organism perform even i told you know the cell shape and size will be different from one organism to another organisms like the single cell or multi cell like the function okay va well, like function is a same from same to multicellular organism and the single cell organism 
See, a single cell organism perform all the necessary function that multicellular organism perform. Multicellular organism like in a function narakudo like that respiration, reproduction, excretion, you know, everything is occur in that single cell organism itself. A single celled organism like amoeba captured and digest food and respire and excrete and growth and reproduce to a similar function in multicellular organism are carried out by groups of specialized cells forming the different tissues, tissues in turn form of organ. You know, like uh, the single cell organisms, you know, the single cell organism also have a different function, like for example, the Amoeba have some of the function that captured food and captured and digest food and respiration is process will be occur and excretion and growth everything is same in that multicellular organisms okay wa? so multicellular organisms are carried out by groups of specialized cells forming the different tissues you know the cell in the inner form of home tissue Tissue in the inner form of home, organ, organ layer in the inner form of home, organ system, organ system in the inner form of home, finally the organisms will be formed. Upper or organism form of Gabina in the cell is very important. Okay, the next one the size of the cell, the next one what the size of the cell, you know, you know, already, already, you know, the size of the cell will be different from one organism to another organism even other single cell organism are in the like multicellular organism in the size safe and function is entirely different from one organism to another organism here you may that say the safe appear irregular you know now that structure of amoeba you know you know we will show on in our the previous page you know like the amoeba you know see the picture of uh, amoeba here so this is that the structure of amoeba you know so like the first uh, the plasma membrane is a outer layer of that organism you know the plasma membrane and inside it amoeba having the cytoplasm the cytoplasm it is a like the jelly like substance and the nucleus is very important and uh, so this one the pseudopodia you know this one what the pseudopodia okay wa? so pseudopodia is present in that outer plasma membrane layer the pseudopodia is present in that outer plasma membrane layer okay so the amoeba safe and size appear in irregular safe you know safe is a irregular safe in fact amoeba has the no definite safe amoeba ko or end safe me irukadu adu vand safe enna panittu irukum automatically maathite irukum unlike other organisms it keeps and changing its shapes observe the projection of varying length prostrating out of the body this is called the pseudopodia okay wa? this is called what the pseudopodia the so pseudopodia means what so it is the projection of wearing length is a prostrating out of its the body and the body ki velila oru inga pathinga theriyum like the small the hair like structure you know so that is called the pseudopodia that is called what the pseudopodia the pseudo means nothing but is false. False means what? Poly polycolical, you know, like the false. And podia means feet. So, already we will discuss about in you know, the previous cl class 7. The projection appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feet. Okay, wa? that and the safe size here, moth is not the moves or feet. That is what I move on. The next one, the another one single cell organism is a WBC, you know, they like the white blood cells. So this one is present in the human blood. So which can change its safe. So number blood layer could you WBC order safe in it to go more which can change its shapes, but while WBC cell 
Amoeba is a full-fledged organism capable of independent existence. What shape would you expect in organisms with millions of cells? You know, the shape of the cell okay, may be different from one organism to another organism. Okay, well. So, the cell is one of the organisms. Generally, cells are round, spherical or enlarged. See the figure, you know. So, that is the different types of cell. Okay, well. The first one is what? The spherical red blood cells, you know, like the round like structure, you know, the spherical red blood cells and second one, the spindle shaped muscle cells and third one, long branched nerve cells, you know. So, the first, the some cells are long and pointed at both end, okay, well, they exhibited a spindle shape, okay, well, like that B1, you know, like the spindle shape. And next one, the some cells are quite long, some are branched like nerve cells or neuron. Okay, well. so see that uh, this picture, you know, so this is the nerve cells. So, first one, the spherical red blood cells, spherical red blood cells in human blood. And second one, B, you know, the spindle shape is a muscle cell. The muscles the third one the long branched nerve cells. Okay, well. The nerve cells receive and transfer message. So that is a very very important one more question. So what is the main function or role of the nerve cells? The no online this word the nerve cells receive and transfer message to the helping in the control and coordinate the working of different part of the body. Okay, different part of the Nama body la in the Urupu enna pano enna order pano the other control pano the buna like the nerve cells. Okay, can you guess the which part of cells give it safe? You know, for human being, Namaku in the body parts one the or a curipit safe kuruku. Okay, the components of cells are explored its a membrane. You know, what is that meaning of the components of cell? You know, this is very important. One more question: the components of cell means here, like that cell membrane. Underline this word: the components of cell. Okay, well, write in your book. The component of cell means like the cell membrane or the plasma membrane, and cytoplasm, and third one nucleus. So these are three is known as called the components of cell. What are the components of cell? Like the plasma membrane or cell wall and that the cytoplasm and nucleus okay so the membranes provide safe to the cells of plants and animals okay well, membranes like the cell wall you know the cell wall lays provide the safe to the cells of plants and animals the cell walls is an additional covering over the cells membrane in plant cells so it gives safe and regret to these cells Bacteria cell also has a cell wall. So, the plant cells only having that cell wall. Okay, well, the animal cell do not have cell wall. So, the next class we will discuss about the uh, differentiate between the plant cell and animal cells, you know. Okay, so plants like any other cell wall, animals like any other cell wall, okay, well. the bacteria also has a cell wall bacteria also has a cell wall so this so that is a very important points everything like the what is that component of cell you know what are the differentiate between the plant cell animal cells everything is very important you read carefully okay thank you students